What we have here today is a Honda Accord Motor F22 B2 uh, doing a teardown. I pulled it out of a green car that I bought for $200. It was in a front end collision. So I'm going to re be replacing the front clip, the quarter fenders, front bumper, all that. But this is just a quick overview of what I'm doing. I'm getting ready to separate the transmission right now. Um, in order to do that, there's two 10 millimeter bolts that hold the plate. And then you have eight 10 millimeter bolts that hold the torque converter in place. They're all gonna be on this. You gotta use a pry bar and spin your transmission around. Always make sure your motor's turning forward then we have our transmission bolts one two sorry trying to get a better focus and not let my phone flip this video on you guys This one's going to be up here on the front. I'm not going to separate this in the air. Obviously, I pulled this. I just crisscrossed my chains. Uh, I'm sure this is not the optimal way to do it. Um, I will show you the car that I pulled it out and why I pulled the motor and transmission together and everything I'll even uh, post pictures at the end of the video of the, the build and where the car started there's a long story behind this one uh, I'll skip all that you know if you're interested go ahead and comment below and I'll I'll discuss about more about the car but nonetheless uh, gonna get my timing in line for you who do not understand timing marks there's a line right here on your cam gear and one here on the cam gear those need to align with the top of the head or the bottom of the valve cover and that's when you're in the straight up position when you're looking at the car the car's tilted or the motor is tilted in the car so that is not the true up position again you'll see more timing marks down here i pulled my balance shafts already um most guys that run hondas just strip these and run them anyways i'm gonna do a delete on this but yeah just trying to catch up and i guess make up for all the last couple years because i haven't posted in a long long time but nonetheless, uh, your next timing mark is right here. It needs to align with this right here. And that'll be your, your balance shaft alignment. And then again, this we would want straight up and down before I pull the head on this. But again, I'm gonna separate the transmission here. I'm gonna stop the video here. I'll post pictures afterwards but those are the bolts uh, I'll tell you what size they are here in a minute I just wanted to get going on this video